Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to the first episode of ITC Cribs, where we show off the best classrooms of ITC's teachers. I'm Xavier, your host. Today we have the art room, which belongs to beloved art teacher, Miss Alfieri. Hi, I'm Mrs. Alfieri. I'm, an, I'm the art teacher at ITC. I've been in the Syracuse City School District for about 20, this is my 21st year. And prior to ITC, I worked at Grant Middle School. <laughs> what theme did you have in mind while decorating your room? When I was decorating my room, um, obviously, you know, being a visual teacher, I wanted to be able to have lots of colors around, um, lots of samples of different artwork and different artists. Um, my main thing that I love to see is lots of work from students, past and present. Um, it, it, I always like to incorporate them around the room. I love memes. I like lots of memes. They're funny. And um, yeah, just lots of bright, bold colors and fun and lots of things to look at. Were you able to achieve what you had in mind? I think so. Um, I think as the year goes on, I don't want to try to fill it too much when I started decorating. Um, at the end, the beginning of the year, it always seems to be kind of the way I want it. And then as the year goes on, obviously, with all the projects we do in here, um, things kind of change and evolve over the year, I guess. So it gets a little crowded, a little messy, but I guess if there, if you have a clean art room, there's nothing really going on in it. That's my opinion, so. What more would you like to add to your room? Oh, if I had lots of money and all the money that I wanted to decorate my room with, I would add, oh, probably, I'd probably like to see a little bit more with like different kinds of murals around the room. I know that was my intention when I first moved into this room years ago. Um, kind of doing that with the summer students and the different um, enrichment courses. And that's still, we started kind of doing it at probably my first couple years here and then we just stopped doing it. So maybe like more murals around the room, I'd like to see that. What elements do you like to bring into your classroom? I like a very fun, exciting, but also relaxed vibe. I want a place where kids are comfortable to come in and, and be able to express themselves. Um, I want to, but I don't want it to be probably too loud where it gets to be too much for kids and too many things probably to look at. I do have a lot of things to look at, but um, I don't want kids to get distracted either by that. I want them to focus in on their artwork, but just definitely a cool, relaxing place. Um, in my old classroom, I used to have like comfy couches and things like that, but I haven't incorporated them into this room. I, I feel like it gets too dirty and dusty with the amount of ceramics I do, so it gets kind of gross, but um, yeah, just a calm, relaxing, cool environment. I like that. What's your favorite item in your room? Probably my slab roller. I love it. It's and Oh, and my pug mill. I love my pug mill. Those two pieces. Um, I've worked hard to get over the years, um, you know, I've written lots of grants and have had um, amazing administrators that have helped me get the equipment that I need. Um, but yeah, probably a pug mill because it's an art teacher's best friend. If you're a ceramics person, you don't have to sit there and when the kids have all the little pieces, you have to like repug um, the clay by hand. You can just throw it in the machine. I can have students helping me do it. It's very satisfying, kids tell me, so I think that's kind of neat. And then the slab roller, again, is another piece of equipment that I love because the kids don't have to hand roll the clay. I never get kids when I was in middle school to ever do an even roll. It's really hard and the slab roller, it gets kids rolling out slabs really quick. Um, it's, it really cuts the time in half. I like time savers, so those two things. That was a really big answer, <laughs> sorry. Do you think your room represents you as a teacher? Yes, I do. And I'll tell you why. I think that my personality is reflected in this room, but also the fact that I am like organized chaos. It works for me. I think some teachers, I'm just not that type A kind of person that's very neat and organized. I've never been, I know that. My mom told me for years that I'm a slob. I know that, but that's, I think it works for me. And 
you know, I, I do have a sense of organization and over the years I've become better at it, but that's just how my brain works and it's like there's kind of things everywhere, but I know where things are and I know where I can find them for the most part. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of like organized chaos, I like to describe it as, I guess.